So are there any other like major things that people need to keep in mind when it comes to the difference between publishing at digital and publishing at physical? It, yeah. Uh, so again, like I told you, the timeline is longer, right? So you might finish a game and now you're not going to get money in for at least six months, right? Because retail has their payment terms. So three months of production to ship it out and then you're not going to get paid for another three months after that, right? Whereas digital, you'll get paid like right away in the next month. Uh, you need a lot more money. So you need to uh, pay for all the manufacturing or, or, you know, there's those costs. Kind of have to do a little bit more marketing. So do like market development funds, they call it MDF, working with retail to get some kind of feature placement um, and help them promote the game and uh, GameStop. So, it, you know, it seemed like a joke, right? But they're actually doing very well. It's very surprising. Uh, I, I saw some of the stuff that they've done for our games and other games, and uh, they're actually an insanely big player still. Yeah, I'd say they have majority of market share for retail. So still. does MDF still mean basically the same thing it meant 20 years ago, which is essentially a bribe to the retail store? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, you know, so like I learned movies, right? It's the same thing. So if you put a movie in a the theater, right? Uh, and let's just say two months goes by, right? They don't want the, nobody's going to the theater to watch that movie, right? So they want to take it out and they want to put in the newest movies. So the retail acts the same way. So yeah, you're kind of giving them something, right? To uh, incentivize them to keep it and, and help, you know, convince them that you're helping them sell it. <laughs> but yeah, it is the same. It's, it's okay. I just want to make sure that nothing can change. <laughs> I, I remember going to GameStop back in the day and it's like, here's our top 10 selling games. And they had it on a special wall. And like number one and number two didn't have anything on it because they mm -hmm. had taken the MDF to put it there, but it hadn't been released yet. And so, yeah, yeah it's all, it's, that was always like, let's just call it what it is. It's, it's a bribe. That's, that's, yeah. Here, here's some money, and, make my game important. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, you know, I, I didn't even think about it until now, but, you know, me and you have talked before, like in the old days, right? But yeah, there's new things you have to do. You have to get the game rated now by the ESRB. Uh, when you do digital, you don't really have to do all that, right? It's autom automated. But now suddenly you have to pay this huge fee. You have to work to capture the video and, and do things and process the, the ratings, right? Uh, and back then, like we were saying, like, you, we had to use VHS tape to record it, right? In different copies. And uh, yeah, so there's still a lot of that process. It's a little bit, it's a little bit more work and proofing the discs and the covers and making sure you're not violating anything, right? By putting something crazy on the cover and yeah, the screenshots. And so yeah, they do have a little bit more stuff to consider.